Doing pesto work is really hard, but if you don't want to sell it and you really don't actually don't even want to hang it on the wall, but you still want to preserve or let's not say preserve, yeah, you still want to keep your work, not throw it away. So what I do for myself, because and I use this laminating, um, I think it's called laminating in English, in English, I'm not sure actually, but I use this and I just put the, the foil on top of it and let it go through two times because uh, I noticed so the thicker the paper the more it's not bubbles you don't get no bubbles with with this one uh, but what you do get is this like the foil is not really sticking to the paper and what I think it's because of the thickness uh, the mittens is really thick paper and uh, the touch I used uh, this on the other papers on the normal mittens and this actually is perfect they're like no bubbles nothing and uh, what I like is just like you can touch it you know this is like so nice when you have like your drawing and then you don't have to be so careful like now I can show it to to my relatives or whatever I can just take it out and I like look you see this and then I have this I made this one actually this one goes like this yeah um, otherwise I really don't know where I would store these paintings I don't have I don't have hmm, maybe I can find some place but I don't have the um, how, how is it called the the foil oh my god I forgot wait you use it when you when you draw also so that you don't smudge your surface hmm, my brain is stuck hmm. whatever so there is this kind of foil which you can put between the paintings so that the, the pastels do not smudge but I think this is actually a nice way to, to store them so now I can put it one on top of the other and that's it when I want to look at them myself yeah look this is my paintings this one and this one and yeah and these ones i also what i also tried so just that you know i did open one of the paintings i i did um i opened it and just to see what was happening yeah, so i i you see this painting uh this is on the u art paper and actually the UART paper the result is also much better than with the mittens touch here as you can see there are these bubbles but this the the cool thing is it will not smudge your drawing even though you see that the the surface is is wobbling let's say it like that it will not smudge because i opened this one when i did it with the another instrument so not with this one I tried at least I think four of them until I was like uh, satisfied and I was like yeah I like actually this one so this for for the price that I wanted to pay okay so because if if I would have like 400 euros I would probably <laughs> buy another one but because this is just for me for me to store my paintings uh, I don't think it's necessary now to give 400 euros uh, yeah but the with the other instruments uh, this didn't the UART paper this did not work at all so I had like a lot of, of um, wobbling of the on the surface so I decided okay whatever I will just cut this and then open it so I did open it I was <laughs> I was really surprised um, what actually happened is that you know on your on your pens uh, pastel drawing when you finish there are still some dust particles on the top which will probably fall down when you move the painting or something like that so what happened here was that all those particles were got stuck on the surface so when i when i opened this one on the other side of of the foil there was identical painting which was actually really cool so there was like a really um how do i say it not strong the pigment was not so strong because it was just the small dust particles that were picked up from from the paper and then i was like okay when i bought uh, the second uh 
how do you say that instrument i don't know how it's called when you when i bought the second one i was like okay i will try it again so this was my my test subject so i put it again inside and again the same thing happened um i i don't know why this this time there were like a lot of bubbles and stuff like here and here on the sides and i was like no i don't like it so i sent that one back again and then bought another one um yeah and with this one yeah that's so that means i open it again so uh this painting i <laughs> i opened this two times and also the second time there was also like a small layer on on, on the foil of the pastels but it was much less than the previous time but i was so surprised that the the, the colors did not change at all so you could not see that there was something of the pastels missing yeah so but actually i mean when when you are going to do this probably you will never open it again okay so that would be the best if, if you do this and then you just have your painting like this you can store it on a drawway or somewhere else somewhere else so it's just like for me maybe in in one year i will be like oh i want to check what i drew at that time so i will take it out and just look at it but for this for me this is the the way how how i am like storing my my paintings right now and yeah i, I actually like it i yeah so with mittens and you art uh this one works really well with the uh, mittens touch yeah as you can see there is there are still some some uh, spots and when you look at here you see this is perfect this part and this part but here there are some yeah see i think yeah it's just the instrument probably if i bought one that was more expensive it would it would be perfect but i i'm pleased and i like it a lot i i did this one when was it yeah more like one more than one month ago and yeah i mean nothing fell down nothing is is like falling off because the dust particles that um remained dust particles from the from the pastels that remained on the paper itself are now actually stick to the foil if this is going if this is going to have some influence on the light fight fastness of the of the of the colors i don't know i'm i'm not sure but again this is just for me i mean for you also to store your paintings which you are not going to sell or, or something but so that you can keep them and you can take a look at them whenever you want and who knows what will happen in a couple of years but i think if i left them uh, just as they were in one year they would be smudged completely so yeah that is how what i do with my my pastel uh, drawings so now i just put one on top of the other and this is like so nice and put them in the drawer yeah thank you for watching i also did uh, tried this with, with my smaller paintings which i did and it works so good so i, I really like it so this was on this was drawn on a hannemühle i think it's called hannemühle uh velour paper so this one also works really nice and also one thing is the, the smaller the painting the better uh, this will work because there is um, how do you say there is less possibility that the, the, the paper will, will move like this so the the, the, the the foil will stick to the surface so this looks really nice this one um, this one was from Senelia this was the Senelia uh, pastel card. You see, it also looks really nice. Then I also tried it on the what was this uh, pastel mat? Yes, pastel pastel mat. And uh, also, yeah, I can show you. This is a, a small piece of pastel mat, on, and this really it worked perfect. There's like nothing no air inside at all but this is another one i did um and yeah as you can see the paper 
and the size of it probably influence so no actually let's do this now because i don't like this let's cut it open and see what happens and how it looks like yeah i mean i like my painting paintings but still let's make this test okay so now i will just cut on the corner Yeah, this side is not sticking well, so probably this will be the, the, the right one. Yeah, yep, I can open it here. Okay, so here it is, how it looks before I opened it. Do you see this? These are the dust particles that are actually not taken really in by the paper. Yeah, I should have probably cut also this stuff this side. Mm, let's see. Okay, so let's try again. I did cut it on the side, and now you can just peel off the foil. Mm -hmm. And oh, what I, I find this so nice. I don't know why. Do you do you see this? I like it so much. I don't know why. It's it's just like a you can still recognize the painting yeah and oh, it looks so nice it looks like a second painting and this is the the original one so i don't know maybe there is like a tiny tiny difference but right now i really don't notice it so let's also take off the another the other side yeah where is it yep it's here for some reason and i'm not sure why maybe yeah maybe it has something to do with the with the with the pastel pens, uh, pastels being on top but the other side is usually uh better st sticking to the paper than the side where you have um the pastels okay so i will open this right okay. now okay and it is off this is the uh, from the other side of the pastel mat yeah and now let's try again but i suppose the result will be the same because it is a, a thick paper and i think because when you look at it it is not really even so the thing is that it will when it goes through the through the instrument the it will be like this the instrument will make it go like this and then when the paper comes out it will again go like this so that's why i think it's happening what is happening with the foil that the foil is um then sticking off of the drawing so unfortunately the pastel mat size is it is bigger than the a4 paper smaller than a3 so we will try and see what happens. I actually don't want to cut it right now. I will cut it later. So let's see. Okay, I'm 
really surprised right now. This worked really well. Even though the last time it did not work, right now it looks really good. I, I'm always um, letting it cool down like, like this, laying down before taking it because it's still warm. Yeah, so let's leave it like for a couple of minutes like that. Yeah, so in the meantime, I just cut this, this side with uh, this cutter here but this looks really good there are like no bubbles air bubbles or anything it's so smooth and it's really sticking to the paper this time like this you don't have any shine i don't know why that is why is it for the last two times it did not work okay i have to say the first time i did it with the other instrument not with this one hmm but second time, as far as I can remember, I did it with this one and I had these, these wobbles. But this right now, it's so nice. I like it a lot. And honestly, I, I don't see the difference. I don't know if there is a lot of pastel that went away if, because I don't, I honestly, I don't notice it. I don't see, I still see the details I drew and yeah, I, I'm not sure. Hmm, I, I like it. And this is the other one, <laughs> which you saw before. Um, there is something that I was thinking about. Maybe it's possible that because I did it two times and that I took all the loose particles of the pastels from the paper. And in that way, uh, now we have like only the the pastels remained which are like sticking really to the paper um, and that's why the foil is able to stick to it otherwise maybe these particles are preventing the foil from sticking completely to the paper hmm. could be yeah once again so this is definitely not the way to do it if you are going to sell your work i don't know if this is going to influence the, the light fastness of the colors because it is the heat that we are applying here so I would never do it if I'm intending to sell this but because this and the other uh, drawings you saw those are just for, for me and uh, that I'm going to just I wanted to store them and not to smudge them I don't know in the next couple of years yeah so and this is also a great way to show it to someone so like yeah look at it and you know like how people are they always like want to touch something and now you're like yeah you can touch it nothing nothing will happen so thank you for watching bye